Today I'm going to show you a healing spell. It's a combination of a grid and mirror magic. The base is a mirror, circular mirror, easily accessed um, as a candle support from most stores. The grid is for healing and you can see on it there are a number of crystals and bones and they are for a purpose. It's surrounded by salt as protection for my spell. The bones are for strength and some of them have um, been inscribed with the witch's runes so they have significant meanings. The crystals, um, some are malachite and that's a healing crystal, quite a powerful healing crystal and I have put amethyst on there I have also put tiger's eye for mental clarity. I have put shells and crystals for emotional health. So this isn't just for one type of health here. We're talking about mentally, emotionally, spiritually and physically. The grid can be made up as you like it. In the center is a candle and that's surrounded by four rather large quartz crystals. The candle uh, would be read later to see how the spell has gone. So obviously the candle would be lit. Not with a match, not with a lighter, but from another candle. And I would say some words here in witchcraft language. So let's just do the spell and then I'll explain myself after. Ilan Rem, Ilan Rem, Ilaxis, Ilan Ot Itumi, M C Rios. This is witchcraft language. And the spell actually says in English health is mine emotionally, physically, mentally, eternally. This is a health spell grid. The candle would be left to burn down and then I would read the wax to see how well the spell has gone. Timed by the moon, but not necessarily that's the case. You could time this with something else, the hours of the day, the days of the week, whichever you feel is right for you. This is eclectic and this is something that fits in with our everyday life. The mirror under the spell itself under the grid is to amplify the magic but it is also to create a magical portal we want that we want the grid to be powerful it can be left and set up for a period of time if you had an altar that was um nobody touched that was out of the way uh, and it would not be disturbed by anybody, not be disturbed by anybody else, then we could leave it set up either until the candle burned down or for a period of time until the healing was achieved. The uh, mirror would be cleansed and rested so that it could be used for another spell. The candle, the wax would be red to see how well and effective the spell was and then what would happen was any residue wax would never be discarded in a rubbish bin it would be put into the mojo bag along with the crystals it's part of the magic we never rubbish any of our spells candles are snuffed we're respectful of all that we do accompanying this and with our magic words would be the visualization and focus of our magic. So we would see it as if it had happened already. So if it was directed at a person, we would see them happy, well, uh, uh, in good spirits, uh, physically perfect. Or if it was for ourselves, we would see ourselves that way. So you can see this is a lovely spell to do. It can be set up on an altar. I really would love you to have a go at it, have a good look at it. You can see how the crystals are placed. Here are amethyst. And here is the malachite. Malachite is all the points. 
You can see the um, tusks and bones which have been gathered in nature and you can see that they would it would make up a fabulous grid for strength. You can make your grid as you wish and I'd like you to do so. Thanks for listening to me.